On to the left hand side cars. And side cars, where was he? Here we go. 142 has got one hand on the trophy with 14 points. Andy Bear Evans, it's the Welsh first and second because Andy Bear Evans going in this race. They're both going in this race. This is going to be a big one, chaps, and they go and it. Andy Evans leads it off the line, but uh, had trouble getting it into second gear and lost a bit of work ground. Tony and Tom Penfold lead it. Remember their primary change snaps on the line in their second leg. They need every point they can lay their hands on. Bear Evans wants to get points over. Terry Nicholas and Terry Nicholas is sitting in third place at the moment. Terry Nicholas can probably afford those points, but he won't, can't afford them anymore. And away they go, it's 25. Tony and Tom Penfold from Andy Bear Evans and Darren Morris from Terry Nicholas and Mike Rayman. Mike Downs and Mick Arling. And uh, 126, that's uh, Danny Holman and Ben Fitness in fifth place, bringing up the rear. Here they come then, 25. Tony and Tom. Leading. Tony and Tom Benvold then leading. End of this turn, the last lap flag is being made ready. Tony and Tom Benvold holding a good line there. There, Evans trying everything he knows to come on terms, but he probably realises that Tony's deficit in points in that second leg is still working to his advantage. He can probably hold on to second and still stay up the table in this one. Really come round and round in circles and over. That's their bear, Evan, out of this race. Might push home for a finish, but uh, trying too hard once again. A little bit of over-exuberance and the red flags are out. Alright, race 28. Left-hand side cars. A win. Another cracking win for number 25, Tony and Tom Penfold. In second place was 1-4-2, Terry Nicholas and Mike Raymond. In third place was 1-1-3, Mike Downs and Mick Arling. And in fourth place was number 1-2-6, Danny Holman and Ben Fitness. No other finishers. The result given as of the three laps because the red flag came up before, the checker, before anybody crossed the chequered flag. So that race being stopped... And as it was stopped, we have to exclude the cause of the stoppage. And I'm sorry for Andy, and, uh, Andy Evans and Darren Morris in that one. A win then, 25, second one, 4 2, third one, 1 3, and fourth one, 2 6. No other finishers. No time, no speed. Race stopped after three laps. Here we go. Left hand side cars again, the other half of the contingency this afternoon. Unfortunately, we will not see number 22, Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw. But we will have taken his place for the rest of the afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Penfold and Paul Randall. The other half of the left hand side cars, Jason O'Donnell, Dave Penfold, Graham Hill, Chris Downs, Billy Penfold, Andy Pack, it's all to fight for. Lovely silverware here, ladies and gentlemen. Another story on that one later as the res rise. Everybody in line. The start is happy. Off we go. Down to the first corner. And Graham Hilton and uh, Jason Hilliard lead into the first turn. 
All systems go as Dave Penfold moves up into second place. Dave Penfold chases after uh, Graham Hilton. Graham Hilton goes wide and opens the door. And can you blame Dave Penfold for walking through it? Dave Penfold and Paul Randall now. They need to pile up the points too. Having missed the second round, uh, the Cayman is reserved and everybody went in that second round so he couldn't get a ride in that one. He could put a foot not wrong all afternoon and still not carry the title, but anyway, let's see what does happen. One, two, three, Dave Van Bolt and Paul Randall. One, five, one, Graham Hilton and Jason Hilliard. Jason O'Donnell and Darren Beanie. Andy Pack and Paul Gibb. Out goes Billy Penfold and Ricky Barnes. They have problems. Round to come then. Dave Penfold and Paul Randall. One more lap to go. Graham Hilton and Jason Hilliard. And Jason O'Donnell. And Darren Beanie in hot pursuit. Then Andy Pack and Paul Gibb. And Chris Downs, Jim Manklo bringing up the rear. The chequered flag is being made ready. Dave Fenfold on the Old West Lake V-Twin. Takes the chequered flag. On 151, Graham Hilton. And Jason Hilliard. Jason O'Donnell and uh, Darren Beanie. Andy Pack and Paul Gibb. Chris Downs and Jim Manklo. Race 29 then, the left hand side cars a win for 1 2 3. Dave Penfold and Paul Randall. Second place to 151, Graham Hilton and Jason Hilliard. Third place to number 99, Jason O'Donnell and Darren Beanie. In fourth place was 292, Andy Pack and Paul Gibbs. In fifth place was number 81, Chris Downs and Jim Manklo. No sixth finisher, the winner's time was 1 minute 33.16 seconds, an average speed of 43.04 miles per hour. From the top, 1 2 3, 1 5 1. 99, 292, 81. 1 minute 33.16 seconds, 43.04 miles per hour. 350cc solos then. Richard Smith and Paul Cooper on 18 points each. Paul Cooper goes in this one. Richard Smith does. This has got a sort of man out from the boys, hasn't it? Here we go then. Rob Southwell now pulling back with problems. Start a happy. Rose Rise takes fly and here we go. Paul Cooper gets the whole shot. Terry Massingham goes with him. Paul Cooper leads out of the first turn. By the proverbial mile. Paul Cooper. Unstoppable so far here this afternoon. Scorching his way out of that corner. Absolutely flying. Paul Cooper, from 56, Richard Reed, Terry Massingham, Barry Powell, Stuart Mears. Barry Powell moving up into third place ahead of Terry Massingham. Number 11, Paul Cooper, two laps to go. From 56, Richard Reed, 82, Barry Powell, 213, Terry Massingham, then Stuart Mears. Andy Mellish. Last that flag out. Paul Cooper takes a customer and look over his shoulder, sees where Richard Reed is. Knows he's not a threat in this one. Barry Powell in third. Terry Massingham with massive good points there in fourth place, but it's uh, Stuart Mears trying to go by. And Andy Mellish. Out of the last turn for the last time. Number 11, Paul Cooper. Second, Richard Reed. Third, Barry Powell. Fourth, Stuart Mears. Fifth, Terry Massingham. And sixth, Andy Mellish. Followed by Rob Southwell and Chris Pye. He resolved in a race third, he quickly was a win for 11, Paul Cooper, second was 56, Richard Reed. third was 82, Barry Powell, fourth was 14, Stuart Mears, fifth was 213, Terry Massingham, and sixth was number seven, Andy Mellish, and seventh was number 39, 
Uh, Rob Southwell and 8 was 59, Chris Pay. The winner's time is 1 minute and 20 minutes, 19.20 seconds, 50.63 miles per hour. I'll try and give you that again afterwards, but uh, let's go past the breakaway motorcycles and come as well as motorcycles. Then the Rambo, the most latest dinner and dance, which we must come back to later, and the Kent Event Bars. Catering for you this afternoon with all liquid refreshments. Here we come then, number 19, it's Dave Mears. 117, Neil Taylor in second place. And 33, Richard Smith. Battling from third, trying to take that second. He moves alongside, he goes through. He catches up with Dave Mears. And uh, 19, Dave Mears leads 33, Richard Smith. In hot pursuit, and he goes around the outside of Dave Mears. He picks it up, he takes it, he runs off with it, and Dave Mears has no answer. Into the next turn they go. It's Richard Smith that leads. Dave Mears challenging hard, but uh, not looking like he's really going to come on terms with Richard Smith. One lap to go. Richard Smith leads out of that turn, pulls another yard clear of Dave Mears. The end of the last turn for the last time. These races seem to be so quick, they're full of action. 33, Richard Smith takes the win. 19, Dave Mears in second place. And 170, Neil Taylor from 16, Bob Dolman. A little gap back from 193, John Shanes. 239, Ricky Gregory. And 58, Simon Ashworth. And uh, bringing up the rear is 12, Chris Watts. Race 31 then, race 31 quickly, a win for 33, Richard Smith, that's three rides and three wins, he puts himself ahead on the table, I'm sure. In second place is, no, he puts himself level, doesn't he, with Paul Cooper. Second place number 19, Dave Mears, third place number 170, Mark Taylor, fourth was 16, Bob Dolman, fifth was 193, John Shane, sixth was 239, Ricky Gregory, seventh was 58, uh, Richard Ashworth and... Eighth was number 12, Chris Watts. The winner's time is 1 minute 20.34 seconds and 49.91 miles per hour. And here we go with race 31. Matt Etherington, high, wide and handsome and going for it. Matt Etherington from uh, Michael Faulkner, from Andy Whittaker, from Dan Berwick. Ben Fensmith. Ben Fensmith getting in amongst it. but uh, Looked like he was going to gain a couple of places there, but didn't. But he's trying hard, he's in there and he means business, he's trying again, in he slides off, tries that a little bit too hard, that's the lay down to avoid running into his mate. His best buddy there in front of him, so number five, Matt Edrington leads. Michael Faulkner in second place, Dan Berwick in third, Andy Whittaker. All happening here at the uh, action track, the Mates and Aces MCC British Championships. It's the ACU Speedway Star British Championships. The ACU own the championships and uh, Mason Ace has applied to run it for them on their behalf this year. And obviously successful in the application. And the Speedway Star are always the main sponsor, putting in cash prizes for the first place riders. There goes the chequered flag. It's number five, Matt Edrington, 144, Michael Faulkner, 68, Dan Berwick, 17, Andy Whittaker, 30, Al Martin. 79, Max Stanford, and 37, Michael Peters. And pushing home is 137, Ben Fenn Sp Race 32 to 350cc solos. Race 32 to 350cc solos. A win there for number five, Matt Etherington. Second place, 144, Michael Faulkner. Third place was number 68, Dan Berwick. Fourth place was number 17, Andy Whittaker. Fifth place was number 30, Al Martin. Sixth place was number 79, Max Stanford. And seventh place was number 37, Mike Peters. No other finishers. The winner's time was 1 minute 21. 0 0.20 seconds and a speed of 49.38 miles per hour. That's five, 144, 68, 17, 30, 79, 37, 1 minute 21.20 seconds, 
38 miles per hour. Back with the uh, right-hand side cars for the Jerry Adams Memorial Trophy. Miles Simmons goes in this one. Top of the tree on 12 points is 37, Mark Cosser. He goes in this one. Joint second and Miles Simmons and John Hiscock on 11 points each. And they go in the other one, I think. Res Rise, the tape's flying off, they go in, Miles Simmons goes in this one, Miles Simmons gets it from the outside, he's into the turn first, he's got the whole shot, he's coming out of that corner, he's going for it. He means business down that back straight. Rob Bradley in second place, Mark Cosser in third, Rob Wilson in fourth, Paul Whitelam not having a very good day, he's in fifth at the moment, Reg Blackburn in sixth. So around they come. Miles Simmons. He won his first one. I think he was third in the next one, and he's winning this one. Rob Bradley hasn't had a very good day on that side car at all. He's been concentrating most of his efforts on the solo, and why not? That is the championship class. He's already the Masters champion of this class, and he's holding on to second place at the moment. Of course, the thing with the uh, right-handers is that uh, it's a sudden death final. So the main thing is to be in there, then winning, and that's uh, obviously Rob Bradley's hopes. And Achievements at this moment in time, he's just trying to get into that final. What an all-round sportsman he is. Mark Hosser has another go at him down that back straight. The chequered flag is out this time. And uh, Miles Simmons, well clear. Rolls home to victory. 87, Rob Bradley takes second. Mark Hosser in third. Then Rob Wilson, followed by Paul Whitelam and Rich Blackbourne bringing up the rear. Race 33 was a win for number 9, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. Second was number 87, uh, that was Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. In third place was 37, Mark Cossar and Tom Pino and uh, Andy Wilson. Fourth place was number 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters. Fifth place was number 92, Paul White and Alan Elliott. And in sixth place was number 26, Reg Blackbourne and Vince Kitchen. The winner's time was 1 minute 20.15 seconds and an average speed of 50.03 miles per hour. Race 32, the race before that one. Race 32 to 350 solo is a win for number 5, Matt Etherington. Second, 144, Michael Faulkner. Third was 68, Dan Berwick. Fourth was number 17, Andy Whittaker. Fifth was number 30, Al Martin. Sixth was number 79, Max Stanford. Seventh was 37, Mike Peters. No eighth finisher. The winner's time was 1 minute 21.20 seconds, 49.38 miles per hour. It says something different in the program to what I said about the points for the side cars earlier, but never mind, we'll find out what the truth is, we'll let you all know. John Hiscock in the lead, John Hiscock going down the back straight. Nice tight line into that corner. Pete Colvin challenging hard on the inside, Pete Colvin comes through. Pete Colvin lines up alongside him and just about takes the victory, takes the lead in this race. He's going for gold, it's Pete Colvin leading. And it's 99 Pete and Steve Cobb, look at John Hiscock coming back. Look at John Hiscock, he means business as he comes around the outside of that corner, they're side by side. The same sort of stuff that Jerry Adams would have done in his day. 99. <coughs> Pete and Steve Colvin from uh, John Hiscock and Carl Bell, from uh, Will Offin and Andy Wood. Then Trevor Colvin and Andy Colvin Jr. With Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. And uh, 306 Mark Warren and Steve Henderson bringing up the rear. Here's the last lap flag, 99, Pete Colvin going for gold here in this one. Bit of right mix up in these sidecars this afternoon with these points, isn't it? One minute he's going well, the next minute he can't do anything, then he goes well again. Oh, it's all happening here as Pete Colvin leads into the last turn. The chequered flag is coming out, and look at those three getting closer together as they come out of the last turn. Will Offen trying to do his best to go around John Hiscock, not quite getting there. John Hiscock takes the second, Will Offen gets the third. Trevor Colvin gets the fourth, but Pete and Steve Colvin remain the winners of that one. It's all action stuff at the action track. 
Quickly then, race 34, the right-hand side cars was a win for 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. Second place was 184, John Hiscock and Carl Bell. Third place was number 80, Will Offin and Andy Wood. Fourth place was 991, Trevor Colvin and Andy Colvin Jr. In fifth place was 17, Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. And the uh, sixth place going to 306, Mark Warren and Steve Henderson. The winner's time was 1 minute 22.50 seconds, an average speed of 48.61 miles per hour. From the top, 99, 184, 80, 991, 17, 306, 1 minute 22.50 seconds, 48. 0.61 miles per hour. These are the 500cc sidecars. As it stands before this race, number 72, Sean Harvey, has 47 points. Number 118, Scott Dunn and 156, Alan Morgan, have 43 each. Just four points separating first, second and third at the moment. Then on 38 points is 7, Barry Bennett and 21, Nick Radley. And on 36 points is 56, Mike Reed and, and I don't know, the two Reeds, Mike Reed and Wayne Reed. Whichever's 56 or whichever's 57, they got 36 points each. Res right takes line, here they go. Heading into the first turn. It's a good even break. And it looks like 57, Mike Reed, that's uh, gone to the front. 57, Mike Reed leads it. Oh, somebody's coming very, 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 very fast in third place, trying to make up a bit of lost ground. Indeed, that was Sean Harvey, and he's gone down to fourth. Is this putting the cat amongst the pigeons? I saw it went like this in high Easter last year. Sean Harvey actually started last in one race and came through right to the front, so never, ever ruled him out. But this could be where he loses a couple of points. And they could be very valuable points too. And 57, Mike Reed is leading it. 156, Alan Morgan is in second. Then Barry Bennett, Sean Harvey goes through on the inside of Barry Bennett, makes it up into third place. Barry Bennett chases after him. It's all happening here, but Sean Harvey doesn't seem to make any ground at all on those front two. In fact, he's finding it hard to shake off the uh, niceties of um, Barry Bennett. That's 57. Mike Reed, 156, Alan Morgan, 72. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. Perhaps that one hand he got on that trophy is losing its grip. Certainly doesn't need Alan Morgan scoring these points as uh, he's joined second behind him. But here they come then. The checkered flag is gone. Mike Reed wins it. Alan Morgan second. Sean Harvey third. More drama here at the Mason Aces. National Championships. It's the ACU's National Championships and it's sponsored heavily by the Speedway Star. Read it every Thursday. Make sure and get your copy. Lots of photos, lots of word in all about this event in there. Relive it on Thursday. You lived it once today and it's brilliant. And uh, you can relive it again on Thursday in the Speedway Star. Five minute side cars, leg three. Race 35. In first place it was 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. In second place was 156, Alan Morgan and Martin Boyd. In third place was number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. In fourth place was number seven, Barry Bennett, knife on Hughes. In fifth place was number one, two, three, Paul Walcock and John Cook. In sixth place was 418, Chris Salisbury and Mike Tomes. The winner's time was 1 minute 25.28 seconds and the average speed was 47.02 miles per hour. 57, 156, 72, 7, 1, 2, 3, 418. 1 minute 25.28 seconds, 47.02 miles per hour. We've got Simon Beard in this one. We've got Nick Radley in this one. Scott Francis in this one, Tony Cook, Wayne Reed, Scott Dunn. It's all to fight for in here. Scott Dunn sitting on those 43 points at the moment. A win here would do him the world of good. Nick Bradley desperate for a few points. I think he didn't carry quite so many into the event as some of the others and he's not won every race so far, so he needs a win here. It's tight stuff on the action track and here they go. And up went uh, Big Wheelie there and uh, Wayne Reed's thrown it all away. The bike's got in the middle, he's helping his passenger to his feet. And the red flag's out. The red flag is out. Sorry, that was Tony Cook. Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. Sorry about that, I had my mistake in uh, telling you who it was and who it wasn't. Okay, come back quick. 
Just think he's winded, I think he'll be alright, but uh, we will need a rerun of that, obviously. Sorry, Denise, if I'd said it was Wayne and it wasn't. Two of the sidecars making their way to the line. Let's say Kent Event Bars, comprehensive mobile bar service, all occasions catered for weddings, birthdays, parties, outdoor events, christenings and anniversaries. www.kenteventbars. Phone numbers are there. Excellent service. Had a, had a good beer tent last night. Uh, we had live entertainment for those of you who missed it. You want an outside bar? Russell's your man. Mason Aces Motorcycle Club, dinner and dance and presentation evening, celebrating 70 years of grass track on Saturday the 8th of November at the Russell Hotel Mainstone, 7 o'clock for a 7.30 sit down. The guests of honour are Peter and Pearl Ruffle. Peter is the man out there, or one of the men out there in those clown trousers, he's the one with a red hat on, he's the one who pops out with his chequered flag every now and again. Um, always been trackside all his life. He used to be the main photographer, but he handed all that down to his son Bob, who does Bob's videos, does Bob's DVDs. And um, but it all moved into movie fashion. So uh, Pete used to take the stills, but as that, uh, like the horse and cart, the evolution pushed it out of the way. Pete then decided he'd take up the uh, job of the finish marshal, and what a grand job he does of it too. Here we go then. We're on the rerun of race 36. Five Alpha Zone in, away they go. Another bit of a wheelie out of there as uh, Simon Beard wheelied. It didn't do him any good. He's gone into the turn in fifth place. Nick Bradley beats him. Nick Bradley got the suspenders and all. He's putting away now. Look, he's just changed up another gear. Has he got them in three speed gearboxes? Cool, that thing went, didn't it? Did you see it just lurched up that straight? Around the turn he comes in, 21. Nick Bradley and Abby Radley leading from 118. Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett. The lady passengers are first and second in this one. See, they're more agile, they're lighter. Better sense of balance, you see. Lady passengers, that's what you need. Round we come, but I'm not having the operation just so I can do it, I can tell you. 21. Nick and Abby Radley leading from 118. Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett. Oh, look at those back three all getting closer and closer together. It's almost frightening, isn't it? Eyes on the front line as Nick Radley makes it look easy as he pulls away from the field with one lap to go. Scott Dunn in second. Simon Beard's made it up into third. Scott Francis is in fourth. And Wayne Reed in fifth. Right on the turn then. Checkered flag is out. Nick and Abby Radley take a win. Gaining, drawing a few points back on Nick Radley at the top of the chain there. Be interesting to see the points tally after these uh, third legs. Race 36, the 500 sidecar, sponsored by Kent Event Bars. A win. A cracking win, and one he needed for number 21, Nick, Rat Nick and Abby Radley. In second place was number four, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. In third place was 118, Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett. In fourth place was number 69, Scott Francis and John Skinner. In fifth place was number 56, Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson. No sixth finisher. The winner's time was 1 minute 23.70 seconds, an average speed of 47.99 miles per hour. From the top, 21, 4, 118, 69, 56, 1 minute 23.70 seconds, 47.99 miles per hour. Left-hand side cars. 
142 Terry Nicholas on 19 points. Tony Penfold and Graham Hilton on 14 each in second place as they go into this leg. Graham Hilton gets away in this one. He's in second place as Dave Penfold leads into that turn and gets the whole shot. Powers out of that drive, drives down that straight. He's gone away. Graham Hilton's gone down to third with Terry Nicholas moving up into second. I believe Terry Nicholas can probably afford to let uh, Dave Penfold have this one. He won't want to let him have it, I'm sure, but I think he can afford to because uh, he's on 19 points. Dave's on 11. But you never know. One breakdown down with Terry Nicholas could um, throw it all into oblivion, couldn't it? Round the turn they come then. Dave Penfold and Paul Randall. That half distance from 142, Terry Nicholas and Mike Roman from uh, Mike Downs to uh, Mike Arling. Round to come then, that's the last lap flag, and Terry Nicholas is right up on the back wheel of Dave Penfold. Dave Penfold knows he's coming, Dave Penfold takes a very, very tight line around this corner. Paul Randall, probably the most experienced passenger. In the country, I think. He's done right-hand side now. He's two in left-hand side. Look at Terry Nicholas. Look, look, look at Terry Nicholas. Look at Dave Penfold. Look at Terry Nicholas. Watch them two coming around that corner. Dave Penfold takes him wide. And Dave Penfold leaps towards the line. And he takes the win. Oh, a little bit of a shunt there by Terry Nicholas and Mike uh, Downs. But uh, totally accidentally. No body barging. Just uh, the way it happened there. And uh, Dave Penfold. Who went to running wide? Hard oh, for the clear right Race 37, ladies and gentlemen, this is a green one. It's the only way I can say it to you, this is a green one. The third one down, it's not a pink one at the top, yeah? Because we altered the running order. Race 39 in the program, but it is race 37. Thirty-seven. Race 39 in the program, left-hand side. Left-hand side, cars on a green one, a win for one, two, three. Dave Benfold and Paul Randall. Second place to number 142, uh, Terry Nicholas and Mike Raymond. Third place, number 113, Mike Downs and Mick Arling. Fourth place to number 4, Andy Evans and Darren Morris. Fifth place to number 151, Graham Hilton and Jason Hilliard. No sixth finisher. The winner's time of 1 minute 31.12 seconds. The speed of 44.01 miles per hour. From the top, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 1, 3, 4 and 1, 5, 1, 1 minute 31.12 seconds, 44.01 miles per hour. So, Tony and Tom Penfold take the lead in this one then. But for a broken primary chain, where might he have been in the tally? As it is, before the third leg started, or before the fourth leg started, he was in second place on 14 points. He's going to add another six to that now, I think. Or is it seven in this, in this class? Seven in this class, so... He could put himself up on 21, but um, Terry Nicholas is already way above that. Here they come then. Nicely spread out. Cool, this one makes it easy for me, doesn't it? I can just sit and waffle now. I don't know how to work at it. 25, Tony and Tom Penfold on the 600cc got the single. From 292, Andy Pack on a 1000 Yamaha. From Jason O'Donnell on the 850 Yamaha. Uh, from 81, Chris Downs on the Gordon V-Twin.
Last lap flag comes out. Tony and Tom Benvolt making it look so easy. But they need a few more points taken off of uh, Terry Nicholas if they're going to get their hands on the title. I think I'd get that primary chain and throw it about as far as I can throw it. But uh, perhaps he's only got the one and he didn't. Brown to come then. Checkered flag is out at 25. Tony and Tom Penfold take the win. From 292, Andy Pack and Paul Gibbs. From 99, Jason O'Donnell and Darren Beanie. From number 81, Chris Downs and Jim Manklo. These head of the right hand side cars, these are the pink ones at the top of the page. Off they go. Miles Simmons gets another good start. With Will Offin on his side, they go into the corner. Look at that four, look at that four. Oh, oh, that is a picture, isn't it? Down they come then. Who's that in blue gone shooting into the lead? Is that Pete Colvin? It's Pete Colvin then. Oh, and Mark Costa's gone on the inside of him, and Mark Costa picks it up. Mark Costa and Andy Wilson. Will Matt Fumarola ever get his passenger back? Down the back straight they go then. Mark Cosson well clear of the rest of them. Pete Colvin in second place. Will Offen in third. Then Trevor Colvin. Miles Simmons lost in the dust. And Ray Westbrook taking a... Uh, in the front of Miles Simmons. Thirty-seven. Mark Osser and Andy Wilson from 99. Pete Cole, Pete and Steve Colvin from Willoffin and Andy Wood. 991. Race 39 or race 37 in your programme, the one at the top of the page, the top pink one, a win for number 37, Mark Cosser and Andy Wilson. Second place, 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. Third place, number 80, Will Offin and Andy Wood. Fourth place, number 991, Trevor Colvin and Andy Colvin Jr. Uh, in fifth place was number 17, Ray Westbrook and Adrian Nund, and sorry, I think that's Tony Heath. And in sixth place was number nine, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. The winner's time was 1 minute 20.56 seconds. The average speed was 49.78 miles per hour. From the top, 37, 99, 80, 991, 17, 9. The 1 minute 20.54 seconds, an average speed of 49.78 miles per hour. Race 40, it's race 38 in your programme, right-hand side cars for the Jerry Adams Memorial Trophy. And away we go. Rob Wilson from the outside, doesn't quite get there though. Rob Bradley, I think that was, that got the whole shot. Rob Bradley scorching down the back straight now. Sean Simpson. All the way from Yorkshire, Pickering, the... Uh, Masters champions leading the field. Paul Whiteland back on form. He had a good ride first time, but his others weren't so good. But he's uh, back in the swing of it now. He chases after Rob Bradley. Rob Bradley leads it then. From 92, Paul Whiteland. From 24, Rob Wilson. 184, John Hiscott. 306, Mark Warren. And 26, Reg Blackmore bringing up the rear. The old Kent Clay is starting to show a little bit of dust. Round they come then, 87, Rob Bradley, Sean Simpson, and on the last lap flag, and it's um, 
for Wynder Manality in second place. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders in third on borrowed machinery. Just starting to get the hang of it, I think. It could be a bit late now, couldn't it? Checkered flag goes for Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson from 92, Paul Whiteland and Alan Elliott. From 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders. John Hiscock, Carl Bell. 306, Mark Warren and Steve Henderson. And 26, Reg Blackbourne and Vince Kitchen. Race 38 in your programme was a win for number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Second place, 92, Paul Whiteland and Alan Elliott. Third place was number 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders. Fourth place was number 184, John Hiscock and Carl Bell. Fifth place was 306, Mark Warren and Steve Henderson. And uh, sixth place was 26, Reg Blackbourne and Vince Kitchen. The winner's time was 1 minute 21.51 seconds. An average speed of 49.28 miles per hour. From the top, 87, 92, 24, 184, 306, 26. 1 minute 31.12 seconds. Average speed of 44.01 miles per hour. The 500 sidecars are back out for their fourth leg. After the points have been tallied after this, they go straight to their final. No semi-finals for these sidecars. we go then, 57, Mike Reed makes a good break, takes the wider run round the turn, 118 shot down at the back of Martin, and he's hit all through the just pokes his nose up through at the middle of that lot, where did he come from? Round they come then, Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett lead it, it's Tony Cook, I thought it was, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford with the two exclusions to their credit this afternoon, and uh, out for every point they can get, don't forget, it's not all about winning today, the top six are the ones who get selected for Europe. And you need to be in the top six to do it. Tony Cook probably needs a win here to get yourself back in contention with that. But 118. Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett lead it. 57, Mike Reed in second. 10, Tony Cook in third. Tony Cook goes up into second. Mike Reed fights back. Now on the straight they go. Mike Reed means business as he comes faster into the turn. They're both catching up with that front runner. Look. Watch them because they're exciting stuff. We've got the last lap flag out. Scott Dunn is leading. Tony Cook in second. Mike Reed in third. Wayne Reed in fourth. Dean Norton in fifth. Paul Walcott in sixth. All happening here then. As they come around the last turn. 118, Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett do just what they need to do, they've won it. Mike Reed comes home for second. Tony Cook in third. Oh. Wayne, Wayne Reed, Reed was breaking, breaking down there, and I did it. I was just looking back, back at the line, and I thought it was all over there. I don't need to panic. Well, that's true. Well, that's true. Well, that's true. Well, quickly then, race 41, the 500cc sidecars is a win for number 118. Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett. Second place to number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. Third place to number 10, Tony Cook and Daniel Crawford. Fourth place to number 56, Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson. Fifth place was 971, Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. And in sixth place was 123, Paul Moorcock and John Cook. The winner's time was 1 minute 25.14 seconds with an average speed of 47.1 miles per hour. From the top, 118, 57, 10, 56, 971, 123, 1 minute 25.14 seconds, 47.10 miles per hour, and quickly again race 40 in the programme was 25, 292, 99, 81, come back to that, Sean Harvey leads it, Sean Harvey gets the whole shot, he pulls the start when he needs it. And it's Nick Rabbit that goes with him, and they are very, very, very close around that first term as Sean Harvey pulls away. Nick Radley certainly needs to be Sean Harvey in this one if he's to stay in contention for the title. And Sean Harvey knows that, and he won't leave any room at all on the track, I'm sure. 72. Sean Harvey and Danny Hall from 21. Nick Radley and Abby Radley. With Simon Beard and Matt Kearns, Mark Kearns. In third place, look at Radley coming again to Sharvey, looks over the wrong shoulder. 
Oh, he looked over the wrong shoulder. He expected it to be somewhere else. That's the fox for you. He's trying to outsmart Harvey, and look, he's so close round that corner, they're just inches apart. Down the straight, they go again, and John Harvey can't break free. Nick Radley comes again on the outside, he goes for it, but it's got to go a lot faster to go a lot further, and Sean Harvey knows this and clings to the inside. One more lap to go. It's now or never for Sean, uh, uh, Nick Radley. Sean Harvey puts one hand back on the trophy and he stays where he is. Nick Radley knows that it comes up on the inside, he changes to the outside, he's doing everything he can to come on terms, and Sean Harvey holds the line. And Nick Radley's gone very wide, and I think that's the finish of Nick Radley. So uh, across the line they come, and it is uh, 72 Sean Harvey from Simon Beard, from Nick Radley in third. Now that was a good move by um, number four there, yeah. Simon, Simon Beard, Beard, because whilst uh, Nick Radley and Simon uh, uh, Sean Harvey were uh, busy backing out, going wide, Simon Beard is through on the inside. All they need to go is saying hello, have a nice day over on the bar side. Race 42, the 500cc sidecars, leg four, a win for 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. In second place was number four, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. In third place, it was number 21, Nick and Abby Radley. In fourth place was number 69, Scott Francis and John Skinner. In fifth place was number 156, Alan Morgan and Martin Boyd. In sixth place was number seven, Barry Bennett and Iphone Hughes. The winner's time was 1 minute 23. Oh, I can't read that, 0.91 seconds. And the average speed was 47.79 miles per hour. From the top, 72, 4, 21, 69, 156, 7. 1 minute 23.91 seconds, 47.79 miles per hour. The closest man to him is Rob Bradley. Both northerners. This is a northern invasion on a southeast track. I'm not sure I allow it. Not much I can do about it, is there, really? Number 11, if they're the best on the day and the best in the country and the best there is, they ought to win it, don't they? Number 11, Paul Cooper on 27 points. Number 16, Adam Ship from the Eastern Counties up there near Norwich. The quiz of the week. Oh, sorry, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? 22 points for Adam Ship. 64 points for another northern man from Pickering, uh, David Knowles. 19 points for 75, Lee Street. He's gone for the outside berth. No doubt he'll try and salvage all the points he can from the semi and final, but 19 to 27. Could be done, I suppose, with... Um, I'm trying to can't remember any points available. How many for a win in this hand? Nine for a win, nine and nine, 18. Yeah, Paul Cooper's going to have to do something drastic to let him in there. The revs rise then, they're on the line. The start man looks almost happy. And the revs rise, here we go. Yes! Nice clean break. Paul Cooper and Lee Street in the same semi. Paul Cooper makes the whole shot. Paul Cooper gets there. Lee Street takes the wind line. He's in third. He's gone back to fourth and down out. I think goes Lee Street. Lee Street sees the championship disappear from in front of him for another year. Round they come then. Number 11, Paul Cooper leads. 16, Adam Ship in second place. Then 31, Paul Simmons. James Giles, David Knowles, Paul, untouchable Cooper. The man who had the best chance to touch him is pushing his machine back to the, to the track. Number 11, Paul Cooper, Forge is ahead. 16, Adam Ship is there in second place. Paul Simmons is in third, James Child in fourth, David Knowles in fifth. Number 11, Paul Cooper. Followed by Adam Schiff. Now James Charles having to go at uh, Paul Simmons and he gets through on the inside. Paul Simmons winds the power up from the outside and chases him down that back straight, gets on the inside of him into that next corner and takes that third place back again. The checkered flag is out already and Paul Cooper takes another win. From 16, Adam Schiff. 31, Paul Simmons, 97, James Charles, 64. Chris Knowles. And 181. 32. Bringing up the rear.
Race 43, the winner number 11, Paul Cooper. Second place number 16, Adam Ship. Third place number 31, Paul Simmons. Fourth place number 97 is uh, James Child. Fifth was number 64, David Knowles. Sixth was number 181, Mark Evans. Seventh was number 32, Jamie Finn Smith. The winner's time was 1 minute 22.28 seconds. The speed was 48.70 miles per hour. From the top, 11, 16, 31, 97, 64, 181, 32. 1 minute 22.28 seconds, 48.70 miles per hour. Rob Bradley sits on the top of this, not on 25 points. He's got Neil Taylor chasing after him on 22 points. Gary Wells on 20, Lee Pittman on 19, Colin Howe on 16, Scott Campus on 13, Anthony Worrell on 10, and Graham Godwin on 10. And they line up for this, the second semi-final. The revs rise, the start is happy, and away we go. Gary Wells gets a good start, Neil Taylor gets a good start. Neil Taylor picks it up out of that first turn, Neil Taylor is away. Rob Bradley is down in fourth, uh, up to up to third. And chasing after the pack. Neil Taylor takes a wide line, Rob Bradley really on the inside line there, I think he's going to move up to second. Didn't quite do it that time, Gary Wells holding on to his second place. Rob Bradley there in third at the moment. All one over side for Rob Bradley, correct to go, but uh, lost a few yards there, yards he didn't need to lose. He chases on hard. 173 then, Neil Taylor. From 170, Gary Wells. 87, Rob Bradley. 34, Colin Howe. And Rob Bradley can creep up on you. He's done in that race earlier and he's uh, trying to do it again, you know. He's a crafty old fox. He knows a thing or two. The last lap flags out. Neil Taylor is going for it. He was British champion two years ago on that four-stroke Honda. And it is 70. Gary Wells in second place and then 87. Rob Bradley. Rob Bradley closing him in. He's reeling him in like a fish. I reckon he's going to have him on this last corner. And Gary Wells won't know where he come from. Just shut me up when it don't happen, won't it? Round they come then. The checker flag goes for 173. Uh, number 70 comes home in second place, followed by 87. So that was uh, Neil Taylor, uh, Mark um, Wells, Gary Wells, I know what I meant. Gary Wells and Rob Bradley. Race 44, the 250cc semi final. A win for number 173, Neil Taylor. In second place, number 70, Gary Wells. In third place, number 87, Rob Bradley. In fourth place, number 178, Scott Campus. In fifth place, number 34, Colin Howe. In sixth place, number 201, Lee Pittman. Seventh place, number four, Anthony Worrell. And in eighth place was 110, Graham Godwin. The winner's time was 1 minute 24.66 seconds. The speed of 47.37 miles per hour. The 350cc semi-finals, it's all hotting up. Paul Cooper again goes in this one. He's on a maximum 27 points. He's got 17, Andy Whitaker in there with him. 56, Richard Reed. 16, Bob Dolman. 5, Matt Etherington. Matt Etherington should go well in this one. 14, Stuart Mears. 30, Al Martin. And 82, Barry Powell. It's going to be a good... From the start of the horse, away they go, a couple of wheelies and away they go into the first turn. Paul Cooper gets the whole shot. Andy Whittaker goes with him, Andy Whittaker tries hard, he's gone too wide, he's let them all up on the inside. Over exuberance again on that first turn, but Paul Cooper is away. Is Paul Cooper destined to be the double champion here this afternoon? He's looking down at the motor as he goes into that corner. Things seem to be okay though, he's uh, motoring away. Paul Cooper. Rob Richard Reed in second place. Bob Dolman moves up into third. Bob Dolman closes up, tries to go for second. Paul Cooper stopped. I knew he was looking down at that bike earlier. Paul Cooper is out of the 350 semi-final. He's probably got enough points to carry him into the final. But will the points lost here do it? The cat once again goes amongst the pigeons. Bob Dolman now leads. Richard Reed in second place. 
Oh, four, you're not going to push that all the way around there, are you? Number 16, Bob Dolman leading it. Richard Reed in second place. Barry Powell out with problems. Paul Cooper sets on the long haul round. The checkered flag comes out. It's 16, Bob Dolman from 56, Richard Reed from 17, Andy Whitaker, 14, Stuart Mears, 30, Al Martin, 5, Matt Hetherington. I thought he was going to do better than that. Barry Powell's out here with problems, unfortunately. Result of race 45, the 350cc semi-final, a win for number 16, Bob Dolman. Second place, 56, Richard Reed. Third place, 17, Andy Whitaker. Fourth place, 14, and that is uh, Stuart Mears. Fifth place is 30, Al Martin. Sixth place is 5, Matt Etherington. Seventh place is 11, Paul Cooper. The winner's time was 1 minute, 23.5 seconds. The speed was 48.11 miles per hour. We've got 33, Richard Smith. We've got 19, Dave Mears. 68, Dan Berwick. 144, Michael Faulkner. Number 7 is Andy Mellish. 213, Terry Massingham. 193, John Shane. And 79, Max Stanford. I think we're waiting for one rider, are we? Oh, here he comes. Is that the one, Michael Faulkner? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. They're all in. They're on the line. Under starters orders. Away we go. Another good start. Clean break. Richard Smith gets it, and Dave Mears takes it on the first turn. Dave Mears can fight, but Richard Smith goes around the outside. Dave Mears fights hard alongside him. But it is Richard Smith now pulling clear. Richard Smith, number 33, the man with one hand on the trophy. He comes round there, he's going out for leather, or K for Kevlar in this modern age. It's Richard Smith, it's Dave Mears, it's Michael Faulkner. Andy Mellish. Andy Mellish goes back one as Dan Berwick goes past. Then there's Terry Massingham, John Shanes. And it's all here to be fought for. 33, Richard Smith, leading Dave Mears. Seem to make up a few yards on one lap and loses it on another, but he's not out of contention. 33, Richard Smith, coasting on towards victory. From Dave Mears, I'd like you to know that um, Paul Cooper offered Jason Handley a spare machine, and Jason Handley said, you might need it, boy. I'm not taking it. 33, Richard Smith with one lap to go, and it's Dave Mears in second place. Holding on to a comfortable second, and I think he's having to settle for it. No point in throwing that away now, is there? And then there's Michael Faulkner. And look at Dan Berwick coming after Michael Faulkner on the last turn. But it's 33, Richard Smith all the way, keeping his maximum intact. 33, Richard Smith wins. Dave Mears in second. Michael Faulkner in third. Then Dan Berwick. Then Andy Mellish. Terry Massingham. John Shanes. Max Sanford. Ladies and gentlemen, race 46, the 350cc semi-final. And the winner there was number 33, Richard Smith. Now on five rides and five wins. I think. No, four rides and four wins, isn't it? Anyway, doesn't matter much, does it? 33, Richard Smith. Second, 19, Dave Mears. Third was 144, Michael um, Faulkner. Followed by uh, fourth place, 68, Dan Berwick. Fifth place was number seven, Andy Mellish. Sixth place was 213, Terry Massingham. 7th place was 193, John Shanes, and 8th place was number 79, Max Stanford. The winner's time was 1 minute 21.14 seconds. The speed was 49.42 miles per hour. Uh, where are we then? Over the page. And it is the right-hand sidecar final for the Jerry Adams Trophy. Jerry walked tall. Jerry made his mark wherever he went. And 
this is in his honor today. The tape's flying, off they go. Oh, Rob Bradley pulls a big wheelie on the inside. Don't forget his points all the way through again. Points all the way through again. Marcos, oh, Marcos, come right up there close and then started to slide and uh, cut off Rob Bradley. He's let um, Miles Simmons run away with it, but it's only the race. I mean, the points still count, don't they? Miles Simmons, Marcos, Rob Bradley, John Hiscock. Seven for the win and five for second. I'm not sure. I can't uh, can't do it quick enough in my head. Not in commentate at the same time. Somebody's just brought me a gin and tonic. That'll be all right. Number nine, Miles Simmons. Didn't have to get a pint though, did they? Miles Simmons leading it. Mark Cossar and Andy Wilson in second place. As the right-handers come to their conclusion this afternoon, they enter the last turn for the last time. Number nine, Miles Simmons. And Kevin Woodley take, oh no, not a last lap flag. That's my second mistake this afternoon. I shouldn't have made that one, should I? Shouldn't have made that one. How's that Pete getting ready? Number nine, Miles Simmons, Kevin Woodley leading this one. They had 19 points coming in, but I think that uh, the winner of the event will be Mark Cossar from second position. There's the winner, Miles Simmons. There's Mark Cossar. Number one, says Andy Wilson. Uh, Rob Bradley come home in third. John Hiscock in fourth. Pete Colvin in fifth. And Trevor Colvin in sixth. There will be a short interlude now while we add up the points for this afternoon's other finals. Race 47, the right-hand sidecar final. Race 47, the right-hand sidecar final. The winner was of the final, not necessarily the winner of the race. I think that's already been decided, but anyway. The winner of the race was number nine, Miles Simmons. Second was 37, Mark Hosser and Andy Wilson. Third place was number 87, and that um, 87 is Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. In third place, it was number 184, John Hiscock and Carl Bell. Fifth place was 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. And sixth was 991, Trevor and Andy Colvin Jr. The winner's time was 1 minute 19.66 seconds, a speed of 50.34. CC. I don't know if I should do this or watch that race, but I'll try and go. I will tell you that uh, number 11, Paul Cooper, is in first place. Second is 173, Neil Taylor. 
Paul Cooper at 45 points, Neil Taylor 37 points, in third with 16 Bob Dolman at 16 Adam Ship. They're on class, 16 Adam Ship on 36. The revs rise, the tapes are about to fly, and here we go, into the first turn. Oh, there's a big touch and a big touch, and it's all over the place, but everything's okay. They're all on three wheels as they come out of that corner. It looks like the defending champion has managed to get clear on the first turn, and he is away, but uh, look at Tony and Tom. Reading in on that little 600cc single. The bike almost half the size, and he's chasing, and he's pushing, and he means business, and he goes for the outside run. Dave Penfold sitting in fourth place, moving up into third on that corner. Graham Hill in sixth place at the back at the moment. Dave Penfold is struggling to move up from uh, third place at the moment. The front two are really at it, Hammer and Tongs. And it's one more two, Terry Nicholas and Mike Raymond. The defending champions from Tony and Tom Penfold. Tony and Tom are going for it. The thing is, though, they don't only need to beat him, they'll need other people to beat him because it doesn't go out, goes to, no, Tony and Tom, no, it's come back on song again. Something happened there, it stopped and got restarted. Terry Nicholas then, leading it. As the last lap flag comes out, it's uh, Terry Nicholas and Mike Raymond, Tony and Tom Penfold, Dave Penfold, and Paul Randall. Big Nelson, Big Harley, Andrew Pack and Paul Hill, Graham Hill, and Jason Hilliard. Into the last turn then for the last time, and look at the push, look how Dave Penfold caught that one up. How did he do that? Well, I wouldn't look it. And the champions are going a 1 4 2. The um, Terry Nicholas and Mike Raymond. What a cracking finish there to that final. Oh. The left hand is out and uh, we'll go and have a little beer together or something. Don't forget riders, within 10 minutes of the last race, we want you all up here in your racing kit for the presentations. Left hand side car final, the winner number 142, Terry Nicholas and Mike Raymond, the defending champion from Wales, comes back and does it again. I believe that's his third title. In second place, it was number 25, Tony and Tom Penfold. If it hadn't been for that broken primary chain, what might have happened? In third place was number one, two, three, Dave Penfold and Paul Randall. If it wasn't for they missed their second ride, what might have happened? In fourth place it was number one, one, three, Mick Downs and Mick Arling. And uh, Mick Arling, thank you very much for your support of the left-hand side cars over the years. We wish you luck in wherever you go next. In fifth place was number two, nine, two, Andy Pack and Paul Gibbs. And in sixth place was number 151, Graham Hilton, an old mate's Denise, and Jason Hilliard. The winner's time was 1 minute 30.85 seconds. The speed was 44.14 miles per hour. The 350s are making the way to the line. Let's try and give it each 250 points. The 250 overall was a win for number 11, Paul Cooper, on 45 points. Second place was Neil Taylor, number 173, on 37 points. In third place it was 16, Adam Ship on 36 points. In fourth place, 87, Rob Bradley on 35 points. In fifth place, number 70, Gary Wells on 32 points. Oh, the next one there, I don't know where we're sixth, I think we are. 64, that is, um, yeah, six we are. Uh, David Knowles, number 64 on 26 points. Then 31, Paul Simmons on 26 points. And in eighth place, number 201, Lee Pittman on 23 points in eighth place. Here we go then, Paul Cooper will be Riding on told, number seven. This is it, the big one for the 350s, the revs rise. Start is happy, the tapes fly, and away they go, and Dave Mears traps first. Dave Mears gets down to the turn. And then it's 33, Richard Smith in second place. And it's all systems go on that front line with Michael Ford to get involved as well. Where's Paul Cooper? I can't see him, but let's the race commence, and here they come. Sideways action out of that corner, and down the straight we go, it's red flags. Red flags are out, somebody's... Uh, Running up a track on the far side, I think. See Lee Ray running over there somewhere, so somebody's behind the park firm. We have a fallen rider, look like 56 Richard Reed. That race will obviously be rerun as soon as we can. I guess without Richard Reed is the cause of the stoppage, but I've got to wait for Jay to confirm that to us. Here we go. Race 50, the 350cc final, the rerun, and we will not have Richard Reed, not because he's been excluded, as I first would have thought. Uh, it wasn't his fault that he went out, but he is not fit to take part in the rerun.
race 50 to 350cc final then. We have 33, Richard Smith on 36 points, 11, Paul Cooper on 29 points, 16, Bob Dolman on 27, Dave Mears on 27, Andy Whittaker on 26, Richard, no, not Richard Reed, he's not coming out, is he? And 68, Dan Berwick on 24, and 144, Michael Faulkner on 24. This is the big one for the 350s. Rebs rise, tapes fly, and here we go, Paul Cooper wheelies out to start, we're on the way. Paul Cooper snakes a little into the first corner, he gets it sideways, he puts his wheel in front, but Richard Smith takes it. Richard Smith is now going for gold there in the back straight, he's got one hand on that trophy. Can he get the other one on there? Paul Cooper will need to beat him in one or two more, I think, to make up for that little deficit in the semi-final. So Richard Smith is rolling away with it in a moment. He can see he's been a British champion before, he knows what it takes, he knows that is, but what's happened, has his bike stopped? Paul Cooper went flying past and Richard Smith has a go back at him. Richard Smith is flying after him. I thought his bike had stopped. Paul Cooper went by him so fast. Paul Coo Cooper's spare bike goes past and his other one. Paul Cooper then. Feeding. 33 Richard Smith in second place. Dave Mears in third. Then Bob Dolman. Michael Whittaker. Well, I think that uh, Paul Cooper might well win the final, but I think he can't make up the points on Richard Smith. One more lap to go. Smith has still got one hand on that trophy. The bike does seem to be slowing. Dave Mears is gaining slightly as they go into that turn. It's Paul Cooper all the way down the back straight. Even if he doesn't win the title, he will look to win the race. He cruises into the last turn. The chequered flag is coming out. We're nearly done and dusted. Paul Cooper wins the race and Richard Smith wins the championship. 19, Dave Mears comes home in the third in the race. Michael Whittaker fourth in the race. Then Bob Dolman. Then, uh, not sure which one it was with uh, Van Barrick, I think, bringing out the rear. We will get all that in the context for you. Just the big one uh, race 50 to 350cc final was a win for number 11, Paul Cooper. Second was 33, Richard Smith. Third place was number 19, Dave Mears. Fourth was number 144, Andy, uh, Michael Faulkner. Fifth was number 16, Bob Dolman. Sixth was number 17, that was Andrew Whittaker. And seventh was number 68, Dan Berwick. The winner's time was 1 minute 20.78 seconds. A speed of 49.64 miles per hour. From the top, 11, 33, 19, 144, 16, 17. 1 minute 20.38 seconds, 49.64 miles per hour. Number 72, Sean Harvey, sitting on the top with seven, 57 points, is a three times British champion already. A three times champion already, going for four this afternoon. He's four points clear of 118 going into this final. One one eight Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett on fifty three points. One five six Alan Morgan and Martin Boyd on fifty points. Nick and Abby Radley number twenty one on forty eight points. Number fifty seven Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins on forty seven points. And number four Simon Beard and Mark Kearns on forty two points. It's all to be raced for. Anything can happen. We saw Paul Cooper break down in a semi. We saw Lee Street fall off in a heat. Anything can happen. This is the last race of the afternoon. Bring it on. The starter's happy. The tape's lying. Here we go. Sean Harvey lifts. Sean Harvey has gone last into that first turn. He's up to fifth. He's up to fourth. He's pushing for third. And two are trapped in front of him. One of those is Nick and Abby Radley, and they go clear on front line now. It's Nick and Abby Radley that lead it. They've gone a little bit wide. Sean Harvey's holding a tight line. It's Alan Morgan that's gone with Nick Radley. Sean Harvey is turning to fourth. And I don't quite know where he got the third ones, but he's back to fourth now. 
and round they come. Leading it is Nick and Abby Radley and they are pulling away from the rest of the team. Has Sean Harvey got enough points ahead of those ones to do them? I can't add that up quick enough. 21, Nick and Abby Radley leading it. 118 Scott Dunn. And Natasha Bartlett are there in second place. Third place is Alan Morgan. And Martin Boyd. Then Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. It's exciting, nail biting stuff. The last lap flags out. We're nearly done and dusted. Number 21, Nick and Abby Radley. They may not win the title, but they're going to win this race. 21, Nick Radley and Abby Radley flying into the last turn. There's a big battle for second and third. Sean Harvey seems happy to sit in fourth. Maybe he's calculated his points well. There goes the checkered flag. Nick and Adley Radley take the final. Scott Dunn's in second. Sean Harvey in third with that finger in the air saying number one. Their mathematics are better than mine and they can do it while they're racing around their track at 60 mile an hour. Well, there we go. And uh, bad luck there for um, Alan Morgan and Martin Boyd. You seem to be going very well in the early stages. Official result for you in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the race result of the 500cc sidecars, the race result of the 500cc sidecars. The winner of the race was 21, Nick and Abby Radley. I always used to say that if you can, you, that you can win a race, you can beat people, you can do all sorts of things like that, but it takes a good man to beat them all, all at once. Nick and Abby Radley, a good man and a good girl, have just done all that and still haven't won the title. Race 51, the 500cc sidecar final, sponsored by Kent Event Bars. A win for 21, Nick and Abby Radley. Second place to number 118, Scott Dunn and Natasha Bartlett. Third was 72, that was Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. Fourth place was number 4, Simon Beard and Mike Kearns. Fifth was 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. And sixth was number 156, Alan Morgan and Martin Boyd. The winner's time was 1 minute 22.72 seconds. The speed was 48.48 miles per hour. Ladies and gentlemen, the third in the right hand side cars this afternoon, the Jerry Adams uh, event, was 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Them looks. Mr. Bradley, Mr. Bradley, you need to face this way for these points. Um, I little made a little faux pas in the middle of the meeting and said it was going to be a, be a, be a um, sudden death final. Did they interfere with you at all? Uh, no, not really. Um, I have to admit to not particularly liking this track. I seem to struggle all the time and it's really slick. But today has been good practice for Burnham and for once, planning on here we didn't crash. So that's uh, a good start, I think. Well, that's a very good start. I'll leave you up on there now because we need to get these presentations done. Thank you. Third place, Rob Bradley, Sean Simpson. Ladies and gentlemen, take home. Second place this afternoon. It struck me a little odd, really. He came up, he won his first ride, a disastrous second ride. He didn't have a very clever third ride. He wins his fourth ride, but he got second overall. Please, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Where's the other Thank you very much. Thank you. Take your hands down there. This is baby Kevin. Hello, baby Kevin. Well done. There's your second prize money. Thanks very much. Thanks. And did it affect you that, did you hear me announce it was a sudden death final? Because you just want to relax a bit as long as you're in it, can't you? But turned the night to correct yourself. Did it affect your method of thinking? Um, no, not really. I suppose you're going to final and... Yeah, the final's the one you want to win, and I know he's on points today, so fair play to Mark. You know, he, he was second and he won the meeting, and we all had a good day, and yeah, I think it made some type of better movement day. Real good. I'll let you know when I count the money. You can go, where's the passenger? Yeah, Kevin had to shoot off a bit quick, so um, he's, he's gone back, so uh, so yeah, uh, you know, he's just all right. It's a long way back to Cornwall. Get on that number two box over there. Well Thank done. You. Thanks. Yeah.
And the right hands from Auckland this afternoon for the Jerry Adams Trophy. Can we please have Mark Crosser and Andy Wilson. Well done, Mark. Thank you. And uh, I think that's a very nice trophy you've got there. It I is. never won one. <laughs> I never won one like that. I never won one, did I, really? But, uh, have you had a good day? Yeah, it's good. Shame about the finals, but I can't really well. So I was told, I was meant to believe you can have your younger brother in the chair today, but I've just been told he broke some fingers. How did he do that? He fell off the back last week and broke his foot. Oh dear. <laughs> he didn't want to do that, did he? You can get that number one box over there, that's your photograph taken. Well done. Cheers. Well done, Dawson. Will you get back on with us a few more over there? Will you get back on with us a few more over there? Cheers. That's all right, mate. Well, it's not a good plan on number three. Sorry, I didn't want to get a trophy. I thought I'd get a trophy. It's organised chaos. No, it's Number 173, Neil Taylor. Neil, you got Neil Moose again. Brilliant, thank you. Well done, Neil. First place, the maximum man on the top of this today, for the please have Mr. Paul Cooper. Thank you very much. Be ready for Cheers. <laughs> I won't be that cheap for tea. Thank you. And you've got one of those big things. Well. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's never easy coming to a British Championship and uh, and trying to perform. No, uh, the, everyone out there going real quick. You know, the track was spot on. The guys have put on a fantastic meeting, and you could tell that by the way the racing went. Um, fortunately enough, I just managed to uh, get out there and, and win. We were very pleased you did. Thank you. The uh, two anyway. That was definitely on your side, I think, with me falling off and uh, doing things, and uh, just in a full well clear at the finish. Yeah, looks always been on my side. You know. Um, I'm pretty lucky to get in these championships, according to quite a few people out there. Um, it is only because I'm sleeping with Tracy Corsa from the ACU that I get into these championships. So uh, I, I hope people realise that. Um, I'd, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity whilst I'm up here in front of everyone um, to invite anyone who wants to hide behind a fake name and slag me and my family off on the internet to come up here and speak to me face to face. Because it's very easy to... behind behind a fake name uh, and, and spread poison over the internet which is widely read by, by a lot of people um, and I'm inviting anyone who, who has a problem with me riding in British Championships, being a grass tracker, there's clearly a problem with some people and if they want to come and have a word with me now in front of everyone that's great, I'm, I'm stood here now. Because they haven't got the bottle, that's what it is. But uh, I just want to say thanks a lot to my family and to Brian Pillow and his family from Marcon for uh, lending me the bike and getting me here and uh, and uh, pissing quite a few people off. I hope. I think you've done that. Yes. You could have another one. We would be so good. 
and you'll get an election for the first thing I'll do. Thank you. Thank you. This is Doug. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hear it one more time for our national champions. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good day. Left-hand side cars. Third place this afternoon. One, two, three. Dave Penfold. And Paul Randall. <laughs> Paul Randall, you and me, and uh, we'll just sit to him privately one more ride, and I think they could have done it. What do you think? Could they have done it with one more ride? Come on! We did that with one ride, did we? What do you think, Paul? Yeah, we set out to do what we wanted to do today, and that would piss everyone off, and we managed to do that, so <laughs> I think everyone liked that. It's just, we just wanted to have good fun. And we hoped that it was going to be clean racing. There's a few people took umbrage the way we ride, but we only know one way to ride, and that's flat out. So, sorry if we annoyed anyone, but that's the only way we know how to ride. That's good. From reserve to third, Dave. Well, yeah, we got Paul summed it all up, and what he just said. We really enjoyed it. It's been a good meeting today. Well put out, well sorted out, well done. Yeah, roll well on next year. Yes, we'll have enough points on the road in this next year. We'll have enough money to go for it. Well done, sir. Thanks for us. Have some money, have some trophies, have a smoke, and... Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Hang on a minute. Let's go. Where's the kiss? Yeah. This way. Hang on. No, no, no. Put it down. He's an embarrassment, isn't he? Over here, boys. Number three, Bob. Don't you? Up here, isn't it? I don't know what that is. Second place this afternoon, Tony and Tom Penfold. Right. <laughs> you don't know what's happening yourself. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> that primary chain, what did you do with it? Oh, we had a nightmare with it. To get the right gear in on, we had to put a, a link and a half that nobody ever sells anymore because they break. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> and on the start line, it didn't give you a fair chance, did it? No. And, you know, with the championship, you can't afford to lose a race. And we did that. You know, we still managed to finish second, so, you know, we've done the best we could. I think you've done very well. What do you think, young man? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> didn't expect to get much out of it, really. Can I just... Can I just want to say Yeah, thank you to Kevin and Drew for letting Mason Aces use their track for down here. There's not many clubs, I don't think, that Luke use, let another club use their track for the championship. You know, and they get a bit of stick, so I'd like to thank them for running this meeting today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done, Tony and Tom. Great day, is that right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, the tables of the planning champions, and that's only the trophy of Ben Hamilton. So if they're a little late on the battle, perhaps they can stick that back on themselves as well. Please welcome. Terry Nichols and Michael Raymond. Cheers. Well done, young man. Well done. 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 Well Well done. 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 Well so you did well with margin, didn't you? Yeah, it was, um, it was a hard day today. We had uh, two fish, two seconds. When it came to the final, then uh, we knew it was going to be a hard uh, race and all. We managed to change a couple of tyres on there. Performed well. Yeah, he raced well today. Yeah, told him to race hard. He Use this trophy after winning it last year, so we're just glad to take it back to Wales. Yeah. That's the third time, isn't it? The third time for you, the best place in the world. Come on, 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 come
that, like giving him a union check as well. Yeah. 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 Done. 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 If uh, Cooper had done a double, I think what we should have done is rebuilt Adrian's wall to stop the Northerners coming down. They'll run away with a bit, haven't they? Well done, Dave. Your third place this afternoon is well deserved. At second place, we had number 11, Jessica Bradley. Well done, Dave. 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 Not winning for us. Did you not get a bottle of champagne for winning once? I didn't get it the last time. I didn't, really. Why didn't you get one? I'm the answer. Oh, you're not. He'll give you one to take away. Yeah, when you get down. Well done, that man. And luck was with you on the 250. It didn't quite last on the 350, did it? No, no. The curse of Collier Street strikes me again in that class. Um, yeah, you know, it was a good day, things were going good and um, uh, quite a sigh of relief when Jason broke down and then uh, it was down to me and Smithy and I guess he had a bigger sigh of relief when I broke down as well, so uh, that's the way things go, that's racing, you know. Um, it's been a great day, like I said before, really enjoyed myself and uh, Smithy's been trying for a lot longer than I have to win it, so it's about time he got on it. <laughs> Well, he has won it, and he has won a 250 title previously, so he's doing very well. I suppose this is a 500 chase now for him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll do my best to stop him getting that one. Just um, want to question Dave's geography, really. Uh, York's a bit south of Hadrian's Wall, Bob. Well. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a it's been a great day, and thanks to everyone um, involved with getting here and, uh, and and the guys who put on a, fa a fantastic performance on making a great track, a good race track, and uh, all the fans for turning out and watching a good meeting. Thank you very much for the Cooper. Yes. You started the year on 500s, you decided to switch to 350, so I think you proved it was a good thing. Well, yes, I thought my uh, racing career was over earlier in the year here, and I really thought I don't want to race again, but I'm glad that I came back and, uh, you know, done the 350s. <laughs> so, um, coming back to race for it again next year? 
I'm not sure yet. We'll see see how the winter goes. But um, I've got a few thank yous to my other half, Sabrina, my mum and dad who have been here today. Um, you know, all my friends and family, and everyone knows I think what it means to me. So you've done well. You've got that number one box over there. The memory. Tasha and I are a new partnership and um, 
hopefully we can get our finger out next week. You've done well enough this year. Give it a number two, Vox. Sidecars. For the fourth time, if my mathematics are correct, is Sean Harvey and Danny Hall. Danny! 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 Congratulations, well done. Can I put my knees okay. at Obviously, you call it work. Right arm, right arm. See Tony Hill. Well done, young man. Tony will put a big ball. Here we go again. Thank you. 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 Yeah. Okay, that's me. Sean, how many more to catch this time? Uh, one more. One more. Yeah. Next year? Maybe, you never know. It's getting too old now. You're all right. Well, you never know. You, just, you know, just see how it goes on the day. It's, it's just hard work all the time. Now. Yeah, some of them are chopping at your heels a bit quick, aren't they? They are, yeah. I mean, we're, you know, we win races, lose races, and it, it just it's set us a tight now, so it's all good racing. Um, some of them are a bit hard to overtake, I suppose, too. Sorry? Some of them are a bit hard to overtake, too. Yeah, we're all, you know, we're all riding good engines and good bikes, and they're all holding the turns and everything now, so it, it's, it's ever so hard. Yeah, it's getting hard. Since your Raz Palmer riding days, you're still winning championships. Is he still proud of you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, it's a subject. <laughs> you're all right, that one slipped up then. Or, never mind, uh, can I ask for something else? No, I'll let you guys down like yeah, number one. Number one, Sean Harvey, Danny Hall. <laughs> champion goes in this one and he's second into the first corner he comes up alongside and takes the lead on that back straight well they go oh somebody's dropped it on the far side it's absolutely furious on the front line there and still look how close those bikes are together and nick radley 
is saying you're not having it, here I come, what's going to happen here, watch them closely, closely, here they come, and Nick Rudley gets it back again, right, this could be the race that decides the championship, you never know, Dean Street goes down! Oh, what's happened? Oh dear, we've got a... Oh, well, it looked like Will Penfold over again, was that Will Penfold? They mean business this afternoon, going for their fourth title. Oh, but um, 118, Scott Dunn has come past. As those two come up side by side again, as Sean Harvey tries the outside run, can he do it? He's not got enough legs, he can't make it. With one more lap to go, Sean Harvey comes right up alongside. Sean Harvey ran the outside, surely. Down the back straight they go. It's tight, it's tight, but Sean Harvey leaps into the lead. Sean Harvey goes red, and Scott Dunn holds the throttle on a little longer into that turn. They're still side by side around the turn. Here they come, up to the chequered flag. Who's it going to be? For my money, that was just Sean Harvey. Lee Street, oh, and Adam Ship goes past Lee Street, yeah, Lee and Street. Uh, Lee Street takes his famous tight line. It's all systems go here, look at the three of them, look. You get the three of them in the back of a transit van, wouldn't you? Lee Street, another of his famous tight lines, and the last lap flag goes, and then Lee Street is with half a length of the winner. Can he hold on to it? They're all battling on this last turn, they all want it, they all want it desperately, they're all hungry, but who's going to have it? Lee Street gets it, Adam Ship in second, and Neil Taylor in third. Uh, look at Graham Brown coming through, everybody throws it away. Oh, Graham Taylor in this one. Look at Terry Nicholas, look, look, look at Terry Nicholas, look at Dave Penfold, look at Terry Nicholas, watch them two coming around that corner, Dave Penfold takes him wide. Oh, a little bit of a shunt there by Terry Nicholas and Mike uh, down, they go into the corner, look at them four, look at that four, all real, it is a picture, isn't it? Nice. Look at Radley coming again to Sharvey, looks over the wrong shoulder, he's doing everything he can to come on terms, and Sean Harvey holds the line, and Nick Radley's gone very wide, and I think that's the finish of Nick Radley, into the first turn. Oh, there's a big touch and a big touch and it's all over the place, but everything's okay. He can see he's been a British champion before, he knows what it takes, he knows, and it's, what's happened, is his bike stop? Uh, I just want to say thanks a lot to my family and to Brian Pillow and his family from Marcon for uh, lending me the bike and getting me here and, uh, and uh, pushing quite a few people off, I hope. Yes, I thought my uh, racing career was over earlier in the year here and I really thought, I don't want to race again, but I'm glad that I came back. You know, we're all riding good engines and good bikes, and we're all, we're all holding the turns and everything now, so it, it's, 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 oh, yeah, it's getting hard.